Hi everybody, welcome to the video. Today I'm very excited because we're going to be exploring the first city state, Cardania. We're going to talk to some of the NPCs and we're going to be doing uh, the... Uh, well, it's going to be one of the quests, because so one of the quests is actually functioning. So, uh, there are two things that I want to get out of the way here. Uh, this is actually a re-recording because my first recording, the audio on the mic was not loud enough so even though we're kind of lo losing a sort of genuine reaction to something that uh, is completely unexpected here um, I just could not let that video fly with the mic being so low um, another thing is that there are actually a lot more quests that have been completed on the Project Meteor so, even though they've been completed, who knows exactly how much we can actually do, but I'll be willing to find that out and see what we can do. So, yeah, so let's get that out of the way and let's just go start exploring Gardania here. So, we're just going to go up to the Adventurer's Guild here because as of right now, this is sort of... Verdania is made up of two different zones, so one zone is sort of the Adventurer's Guild, and then the other is in the main town, so if I walk up here, there's no going to be no NPCs, so we're just going to go ahead and just start the quest. See there, there's still some, like, script errors, because I'm pretty sure there's probably a cutscene that's supposed to be playing right here so yeah let's talk to this lady here and it's this quest is what uh, I got my sort of genuine reaction to something unexpected but it's still fun so let's see what she says waste not want not she says oh an adventurer and one who looks capable besides matron Nafika must be smiling on me today to bring you here in any at my moment of need. Or here's a sudden thought. Have you just come to stay at our humble inn? The roost? Are you an adventurer seeking work or a travel weary guest? At first glance I say adventurer. At second, who knows? Ah, but what does it matter? Tis an emergency, a crisis, a time of strife. I need help. And to you I turn, whatever you might be. A guest checked out and left a well worn bag in his room. Early man he was. A black straw hat atop his head. Chase after him, won't you, and return his forgotten bag. He is making his way to the Gridanian airship landing, or so I was told. Descend those steps, I am ones over by Miane, and do hurry before he leaves. Once he boards the airship, not even Nafka herself will be able to find him. Go, 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 run like a chocobo like you have never run before. So here we get 200 experience points, and we'll just accept the quest there. Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Such a well-used bag. Must be much loved by its owner. Reunite them, master impact, and bring a little joy into their lives. So, speaking of Mione, we'll uh, see what she has to say. Well, don't just stand there looking sorry for yourself. I'll not have it said that Carlin can't be failed to welcome an adventurer. Close your eyes and open your ears. Do you hear it? Just like being up in the real canopy. The chirping birds, the whispering breeze. What better way to put mine at ease in uncertain times such as these? Of course, I'm only too aware of how restless you people are wont to get. So I fitted the place with all the adventuring amenities you could wish for as well. So... Basically, it's just Mione, as we know her. So let's go down here and see what's up with this sort of bag here. Oh, here, we'll kind of get a look. I mean, it pretty much looks the exact same as the Adventurer's Guild that we know, so... So he says, what's that, you say? I left something behind at an inn? I don't know about that. I've got everything that belongs to me, I reckon. Hmm? 
Hi, that's my bag, all right. Truth is, I meant to throw it out. I left it in the rooms, so the maid could clean it up. Look at the thing, will you? It's got a blooming big hole in the bottom. It served me well, tis true. And now it's worn and no good to no one. What's the point of a bag with a hole in the bottom, I ask you? Is that so? The little missy at the end thought it was important and sent you after me, eh? Hmm, here, let me tell you a story. I'm a merchant, hailing from Limsa, and I came to Gridania to buy up vegetables. The folk here grow the best leaves and legumes in all of Eorzea, you know. But some of the produce I bought wasn't up to par. Roots too small, that sort of thing. So I started throwing away the rejects. But as I was doing so, who comes up to me but some Gridanian bloke frothing at the mouth the man laid into me. Saying, oi, that's good food you're tossing out, right? Right peeve, he was. So I told him I was... I wasn't doing it for my own gratification, and I thought it was a waste too. But my customers are the cream of the Limousian society with uncompromising tastes, and they wouldn't take too kindly to try and bob off inferior cucumbers on them. Well, that just poured, poured oil on the flame, let me tell you, and we got into quite a heated discussion. I came away thinking folk hereabouts are all bullheaded and stubborn. But then I thought on it some and came to realization came to realize something. Obnoxious though he was, the man had the right of it. We shouldn't waste things. Gridanians are especially passionate on this. And that the bloke simply couldn't bear the sight of me tossing decent food. You know what? I'm gonna fix up this here bag, make it as good as new, and then I'll use it for as long as I can. It'll be my little way of showing respect to the good people of Gridania. It's done my soul good talking with you. I owe you one friend. If our paths ever cross in Limsa, I'll be sure to feast you on the finest vegetables the land has to offer. That's nice of him to fix up the bag here. So, who could guess where this bag belongs to? Well, we're gonna about to find out and just a kind of disclaimer, the cutscene music may be a little loud because sometimes the cutscenes in this game, the sort of audio is kind of all over the place, so. So let's talk to this lady here. Ah, you're back, and without the bag, I take it your quest has met with success. If I might be allowed to grumble, though it's always outsiders who leave things behind. We forest born know him better than to treat our belongings callously. Take a simple bag, for instance. Making one requires hide, hide that comes from creatures of the Twelves wood. Such creatures give their lives and we might be able to carry our possessions about. It would, do, it would be wrong to treat their sacrifice with any less than utmost respect, but then I have no need to tell you these things. You're the one who returned the bag to its owner, after all. Which reminds me. You came here as an adventurer, but perhaps you would like to stay as a guest. We just need to enter your name into the registry and our inn shall be your home. Now let's see, Slurp Blurter visit. Excellent. Now that's it's official. <laughs> Greetings, good sir, and welcome to the roost. Here you may rest your weary limbs and restore your vim and vigor. Drop by whenever the adversaries of adventuring begin to take their toll. You begin resting the moment you enter the room. The longer you stay in your room, regardless of whether you're logged in or not, the more rested you will become. Slaying enemies and sighting items or gathering while in the rest of stay will earn you bonus experience points. Now this goes without saying the persons of quality such as yourself, but we do not allow synthesis on the premises. Our guests expect the peace and quiet and we endeavor to provide it. In addition to synthesis, equally cacoponus, I can't really read that word. Actions such as items, repair, and material melding are also strictly prohibited. You're now registered in the book. Remember, you will always have home away from home at the roost. Palliation for the mind and body is what we do best. So, who could this... Who could possibly show up in this cutscene? Who... None other than... Freaking hello, Brad.
my first reaction to this was like, I cannot believe the first quest that I've done in this version is freaking Hillebrand. And the Hillebrand quests are my favorite, so like every time he shows up, it's just like, like Hillebrand is the greatest thing to happen to this game. So let's read what he has to say. These two eyes of mine will not be deceived. Oh no, for they are the sharpest in all of yours. Yeah, speak now, lovely maiden of gentle heart. Something troubles you, and I, Hillebrand, am here to help. Alright, yes, well, nice to meet you. But if you come about the forgotten bag, Slurp here has already seen it safely back to the owner. Clean to the punch, but I find a fine gentleman here, you say. Hmm. Could he perhaps be one of my many admirers? Oh, so I guess the bag that actually didn't belong to him. Oh, and then he does the, the most gentlemanly pose. Oh, but where are my manners? I have yet to give a proper introduction. My name is Telebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. I travel the realm, visiting inns and alehouses such as these, quelling quandaries where they may be found. I lift cares from shoulders and thwart dastardly deeds. Should troubles darken your door, summon me, for I am, and always will be, your humble servant. Unless he's stuck in the ground. Or a dead man. Incidentally, I must say you have a lovely town here. Well, I shouldn't say dead, but he's like a zombie. Incidentally, I must say you have a lovely town here. Very pretty. The forest is so quiet and still. It possibly shimmers with a mystic mi miasma. Not to mention the quite sensational salad I just enjoyed in this fine establishment. Remember, should troubles darken your door, summon me, for I am and always will be your humble servant. And Slurp, I sense that we shall meet again, and my senses are rarely off the mark. Till next time. Till next time, Hildebrand. I say that man left without paying for his cell. Just give it to him for free. So unfortunately with this quest we don't actually gain the experience points. So but we are treated with something. That nice quest complete jingle there. It's honestly like my absolute favorite. So yeah, pull up around just stop by and say hi. So it's always great to see Hilla Brand, so um, we're just gonna continue now our exploration of uh Gridania here. So actually since we're exiting the Adventures go, we'll have to teleport in. Unfortunately, there was one other quest that I did do in the in my first recording, but I've only been able to find four out of the five, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with it, so uh, we'll probably do that sometime later if, uh, if I can see if it's actually fully implemented. It does say that it is, so it might just be a zone I have to warp into. But uh, anyways, this here is the old Etherite Plaza. As you can see, it's very small. And like in my first Gridania, or not Gridania video, but Black Shroud, this is one thing I definitely remember from playing this uh, version 10 years ago, so. But what little I played, that was one thing I did remember. Because I thought that was one of the coolest places, like, we, they had in the town here, so. Yeah, let's continue onward. We'll show you what each and every place looks like. So, this here, I, I'm not sure exactly what it leads to. It could be lavender beds. Let's see what this person says. This way you will see to the Lotus Gardens. If there is aught you'd like to know the place you need, only ask the Lancer last before you. 
Oh, okay, so she kind of tells us about different places. So yeah, so, okay, so this goes to the Lotus, which actually we will take a look at. Let me pull up the coordinates here. Okay. Or 155, 16 minus 7, 12, 12. Make sure we got the coordinates right so I'm not spawning in geometry. That is not the Lotus stand. Oh, I put the wrong. Yeah, I did the wrong coordinates. Oh, I was looking at the Adventurer's Guild. Why was I doing that? Okay, let's double check, make sure it's right. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez, I cannot type right. Okay. And I forgot the 25 here. Jeez, I cannot type coordinates in today. 25, 10, minus... Yeah, that should be correct there. There we go, okay. So, this is what the old Lotus Stand looks like, where the Elder Seed Seer does her counseling sort of decisions and stuff like that. So the interesting thing about this one is like there are three different paths that lead to uh, the Lotus Stand here. So and actually if we go up, I mean there's just an invisible barrier here. But if we warp, or not warp, what am I doing? I want to nudge. It just kind of leaves to, uh, just like a cave here, so there's not really much you can do here. I mean, we can walk up on this here, kind of walk up on the cliff side here, but uh, we won't go out of bounds here. Although I have done it before, and there's it's it's kind of interesting. Well, I guess I want to be kind of interesting. It's actually very interesting on how like, let's just say there's a lot more out here than just this area here. So, let's warp back to Oh, well, here. We'll get a shot of the Lotus stand here. That's it's nice and sunny out. So now let's teleport to Verdania. So the next video will be in Linsa. And we're going to be looking at each character class, like their armor sets, and just a bunch of different things. And the reason why we're doing it, or I'm going to do it in Limsa, is because Limsa, surprise, surprise, is actually not the most, like, janky sort of uh, town. Like, there's not really any major script errors that we get just by walking around. There might be a couple in the Adventurer's Guild, but again, I have to actually warp into that. So, it'll be a great time to showcase literally other aspects of this game. So, now we're heading up to the Botanist Guild here. Which, the thing I find interesting about this place and this version is that this whole area is blocked off. So I'm actually going to show you what's behind here. Because they even got like the bridge over here. 
But it's like as soon as you step back over here, like they have this gate over here. It's like you're not even really gonna see this, so it's like why is this here? But then it see the map cuts out there. We have another gate here. And then there's an invisible barrier on this bridge here. So like this just leads to just another like cutout in the map. And then you can actually go down here if you nudge the character through. Which I mean it's it's just like what you see in the realm of born is you can walk around this whole area. I find it strange how why this was just all locked off. So let's go look at the Conjurer skill next. There are some interesting things about that. And that's where our actual our second quest is. Like I said, we're not going to do that because in my first recording, like, I just could not find the last person. So I'm going to have to figure out, like, what zone, if I had to warp into a zone within Gardania or be just like somewhere else. I can at least show you what the name of the quest is. Well, forget it. We'll, we'll do it, but we'll just go and look for the... At least what I did find, or who I found with the quest. So, so yeah, this is the entrance way to the... Uh, Conjurer's build, and the interesting thing about this is if you do the Gridania out of bounds glitch that I found, I'll link the video in the description so everybody can look at it. Um, when you jump on the awnings and kind of go to this back area in a realm of horn, there's this, there's a cave in this area, and there's rocks blocking it. And if you walk past those, this cave exists in the Realm Reborn, except there, the bridges aren't here. It's just like these rock platforms here. And then pretty much like the map like cuts out at about like right here. But this cave still exists in the Realm Reborn. So let's go take a look at the Conjurer's Guild and we'll, we'll do the second quest. And maybe I'll find the the other person that we need to find. I always think the entrance to the Conjurer's build is really cool. Fortunately, there's nobody in here, and if I if I warp in here, it's pretty much the same. So, here's a look at the Conjurer's Guild here. So, it's like a Oh, that's interesting. It's like the map just like ends there. I didn't even notice that. Wonder if there was supposed to be water there. Oh, maybe it's just a giant cavern or sort of like underneath. Maybe that's the look they're trying to go with. Door doesn't open. Okay, let's 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 go do the second quest. I 
this guy's name is Kenny Son. One of the few names I can actually read. So let's see what he says. See in the series. Beyond here lies the Lotus Stand, where the three seed seers hold council, though it is rarely used. The seed seers spend their days watering the wood, listening to the whispers of the elementals. But the past moon has seen a rise in the number of garland agents stealing into the twelfth wood. The elder seed seer, Kanasina, has returned from the forest to lead us, such as this, her worry. Or such is her worry. Would you do me a kindness, Adventurer? There are five souls who may be able to set my mind at ease. Might you call upon them and ask if they have seen or had heard word from the other two seed seers? So, we'll get a pair of sheepskin mitts and 200 experience points. It shall mark the location of these five forest born on your map. They too are known for wandering the twelve wood. If any have seen the seers, it is they. It is not easily that I ask you of this crime. By all the rights, by all rights, the task should be my own. But I am charged with the protection of the Canasina now that she has returned to us and cannot leave my post. Okay, so let's go find the four that I at least found. I feel like there's one that's supposed to be in the Conjure skill, but I don't know why they would list it as complete if the NPCs aren't even spawning in there. And then while we're doing this quest, we'll look at all the other places. Just like the old sort of etherite shard there. Okay. There's supposed to be an NPC here. And this is the old uh, amphitheater. So this area is no longer exists in a rubber born because it got destroyed by the calamity. So this area doesn't exist. But uh, yeah, this is what the old amphitheater looks like. Like if they added like a bunch of waterfalls and stuff back there, that would look really cool. Supposed to have NPCs there, but they're not spawning in. Wonder if they are there, but they're just like they're like falling through the map or something. And then here we're getting up to the great Louis Swa. So we'll go ahead and see what he has to say again. So he says, all things happen for a reason, yet it is the responsibility of the individual to find meaning in which comes to pass. Behold with the clarity of a still pond, hearken with the tranquility of a virgin grove. Take but these words to heart, and no truth shall ever elude you. Great Louis Swa there will kneel, kneel for him, kneel for excess sacrifice if I can talk. So we'll get a, get a nice close up again. Because we did show them off in another video. Or in the first Gridania video. as the lavender bed. She says, 
Lost your way, have you? Surely a traveler such as yourself knows how to unfurl a map. Best start soon, else you'll take the wrong turn into trouble before long. The only problem is, is like, with the quest, I can't actually bring up the map, so it doesn't really register. So that's kind of unfortunate. That's why I couldn't find... For one reason why I couldn't find the last person for this quest. There's just a uh, area blocked off here, so there's nothing over here. Here's the Lancer's Guild. The main difference with the Lancer's Guild is like it's less like decorative. The thing is, is like you can really only tell if it's a Lancer's Guild by this one sign here. So obviously, in a Realm Reborn, it's a lot more decorative to fit the Lancer sort of aesthetic. Which looks much better in my opinion. So, this is what the Lancer's Guild looks like. And then we still have Francis over here, so anybody who's played Lancer will know who Francis is. So, you wish to be a whaler, do you? To be a hero to all the younglings. Not just any adventure is given to leave our ranks. We have a conjurer among us, as all guilds in Gridania do. In trust and sister Chanelene, separate the wheat from the chaff when it comes to your kind. So, it's my very first job class is Lancer. It's still one of my favorite like stories in the job class. So we'll make our way down to the market wards here. The sad thing is I can't buy really anything. And the stuff that I can't buy I can't really use. So this is all like you know your blacksmith, armor alchemist, sort of general supply, or is this is like the, uh, it's like botanist and like cooking stuff. So here's the first person that we talked to. See what he says. Seeing the seers. I have seen one of the seers. Shames to me, but she or shames to me say. Here, let's let's start that over. <laughs> I I've seen one of the seers. Shame me to say, but she scolded me for dallying about in the wood looking for the seeds. I was, but she said we cannot afford to be off guard no more. What with the garlings about as they are. But if hostilities in the wood take a turn for the ill, their bloody well will be a need for stuff such as seeds. And a lot more besides. Twelve known Gridane ain't got the guild to wage war against the Empire. That's why I told her they ought to send word to merchants like myself. None are able as we when it comes to seeing weapons and supplies get where they need going. There's lessons such as that to be learned in the history of the Grand Companies. I want peace as much as any man, but business is business. Truth be told, more than a few of us merchants have already landed together to look for new opportunities wherever they might be. So there's one of the people there. So here is probably... Yeah, he's probably like a general shop here. Oh, this is the cooking here. And this is the goldsmith. So then that's the cloth. So, 
the major difference in this place is the this is where the retainers are in the rubber horn and this is kind of has this sort of watery fountain area here where you can sit here's where the market boards would be here's the summoning bell but uh, nothing works with the summoning bell I did try setting up a retainer but it doesn't like it's not complete got this guy hiding here. This guy I can pretty much buy anything from, but uh, I can't actually use them. Gagaroon has goodies, but Gagaroon no want goodies. Gagaroon want gil. Gagaroon want seal. Do you have gil? Do you have seals? So this is the kind of stuff that you can buy from him. Like this stuff I can, I can get, but I don't have the gill for it. Gargaroon glad, Gargaroon giddy, but Gargaroon still have too many goods. Come back and buy more good goodies. Oh yeah, that was the, the other thing. Probably should give him more gill. 500,000. So, and these I can actually equip, but they don't really show, like, it's not really worth showing off. Here, let's change the music. One thing I remember very clearly is these lights here. And just walking around here. Let's see if we can find the other people. So now we're making our way to the uh, Archer's Guild. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same except for just less decorative. This lady was in the... Oh no, she wasn't in the Lancer's Guild. See, my last recording, I thought she was in the Lancer's Guild, but no. Uh, I think this lady here... I think she's still in the Rum Reborn, but she's actually been replaced with a uh, Mikwote. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, Archer's Guild. It pretty much looks the same. Private homes guarding that Etherite. Like his life depends on it. Just imagining like People teleporting there just to sort of like fuck with the guards. Like imagine if you're guarding that Etherite shard and somebody appears and just, just scares the li ever living shit out of you. So now we're getting to the main area here. And as you can tell, there's no. Etherite Plaza here, it looks like it's just sort of like this watery sort of flora area. Giant tree there, so yeah, this area had a dramatic change for the best too, because it's like I mean, Etherite Plaza should always be in the center of the town. So, yeah, here's the Chocobo. I guess the only way we can really show off the Chocobo as of right now is no, uh, just this guy here. I mean, he pretty much just looks the same in Realm Reborn, so... 
it actually turns in pets to chocobo. I don't know if he actually does that in. I have to take a look at that, but unfortunately, yeah, I still have not been able to get that to work. The chocobo is probably like, please help me. This guy won't stop petting me. And over here, I believe this is some kind of seasonal thing. Because there's one in Old Da, and it's one of the people there I can't talk to. Let's talk to Tristella and see what he says. The entire Grand Company has been up in arms ever since reports arrived that Garlean forces are amassing. If rumors can be given credits, a full scale battle looms nigh. All of Eorzea must reunite under one banner if we are to emerge triumphant. See what she says. Scarlet ships passing by. Okay. Let all know that new threat to the peace has emerged. Creatures terrible to behold, possessed by a cavernous mob, have appeared in the vicinity of the Etherites across the land. The Order of the Twin Adder seeks to appear the distinctive crystals found upon these fiends. For investigative purposes, we would thank you to submit to us any samples you chance to obtain. Submit four over expecting crystal in exchange for 1,000 serpent seals. Let's see what happens if we do that. Pretend to hand over four over expected crystals. On behalf of the Order to an I thank you. Pray accept these seals. Recompense. Oh my god. To recompense for your kind assistance. I really can't read today. The thing is, I'm so used to reading. Here, let's turn on the. Those Garlean ships are so loud when they come overhead. Um. Yeah, so what I was about to say is, like, I just, I'm so used to reading dialogue in my head. So this is the Carpenter's Guild. Oh, this thing is funny. So it looks like this thing is kind of, like, malfunctioning. It's like, this guy should really, really check it out. I think he's the culprit. He's like, I hope nobody notices that I broke that thing. Okay, let's see if we can find the other people. I know one of them's in the Leather Workers Guild, so we'll go over there. Oh yeah, and then, uh, this tunnel here is a. Uh, uh, there's usually a loading zone and a rubber horn, but in this version, there's actually a, a cave, and in this cave are uh, more shops. So let's see what they say. What can I do for you? Basically, like the stuff that we already have. That's yeah, so not only works with Elizin. So, this stuff we pretty much have already. This uh, what old they saw ya here. No, if you need anything, anything at all, you hear. Well, what do you got, good sir? Oh, you just have st stuff I don't really need. Stuff I can't really buy either. Okay, let's head to the leather workers guild and 
talk to the next person here. Showcase this room here. So let's talk to this person. So she says, Have I seen the seeds here? Why, yes. Canacina herself came to my aid in the woods some time ago. The mere recollection is enough to send shivers down my spine. The earth and trees all around were gripped by a violent shaking, throwing the forest into great unrest. Canacina simply appeared by my side as if she sensed my distress. She said the tremors came from the Empire's flying monstrosities in the sky, and they had grown more frequent of late. The guardians set upon Gardania with all their might. No, no, we must not give in to despair. We will defy them to the last, all of Gardania together. The Grand Companies are enlisting people of all nations and talents, not merely swordsmen and sorcerers. So will it be when next our way of life is threatened, unity will see us through adversity, and the Seed Seers will lead us with the guidance of the Elementals. So do not give in to despair, basically. The entire message of Ed Walker. I know one other person was at the Botanist Guild. I know I could just use the Etherite shards, like the mini ones, to travel around town, but honestly, I never use those. Like, even in the Realm Reborn, I don't use those mini Etherite shards. Like, honestly. I always forget that they're there. So, is this the... Oh, this is the amphitheater. Nobody over there. At least it has a quest marker. I'm trying to think, where did I find the fourth person? May have been at the Etherite Plaza. So let's see what he says. I often see Rayo Sina when returning from my labors in the field. Not long ago, I even had a chance to speak with her. She was worried about the war with Gollumald spreading into the Twelves. We have stores of food that we fall under, siege and medicines to ease pain and blight, but even so, I worry thee whether such supplies could even be delivered where they are most needed amidst the chaos of war. The Elder Seed Seer tells us that the Order of the Twin Adder will see too much, or will see to such tasks. I only hope she is right. I suppose the days of peace with such thoughts were not necessary are now behind us. So this is like a botanist shop here. So let's see if we can find the fourth person. And let's see. We is there anything that we missed? Oh, it doesn't look like it. So we'll see. We'll find this last person here. Talk to them, and then we'll end our video in the first city state. So definitely looking forward to being Limsa. It could very well be possible. We'll I'll do Olda first since we're going to be spending so much time in Limsa.
So I know I've been saying that Limsa might be next, but it may actually be better to do Ulda since we're going to be spending a great deal of time in Limsa. Okay, there is one in the Etheray Plaza. Which is actually a fitting place to end this video here. So let's see what she has to say. I, I came across the seeds here in the woods some time ago. Vibrant little lad asked, will he bolster Gridania's vigil? He did both within the city and without. He also mentioned the growing number of you adventurers of light. It seems the seeds here where your worry your constants comings and goings present with opportunity for imperial agents to slip through our borders. He spoke of distant past too, some thousand years and more ago. Ominous talk of the Sixth Umbral Era and how it almost brought about an end to all things. Legends tell of a great seeds here from that time who formed our nation's own grand company. Rallied souls from all across the realm and dragged Eorzea back to the brink. So it would seem the same as now needed once more. So that is pretty much the second quest there. Like I said, it, it, trying to find the other NPC, but not having much luck. So yeah, we're going to end the video here. So if you guys like what you see, please hit a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of the old Gridania and just uh, what you think of the series in general. So thanks for watching, guys, and take care.